Okay, here we have a um, brushless um, DC motor coming out of a Series 6 Bosch front loader washing machine. Um, the motor is fitted with a, a G sensor here in the back on this little printed circuit board that sits underneath the uh, data connector. Um, this motor has a bearing issue. It runs very rough, rough as you can hear. And um, it's, uh, it doesn't go up to speed because the G-sensor picks up these vibrations here. Now, taking the motor apart, inside we can find a little ring, very important, don't lose this. Um, and here are the windings. And this is the um, rotor. Problem with replacing the bearings on this rotor is now, while well, this one comes off easily, um, uh, we've got the pulley in the way for this one here. So the pulley is bigger than the shaft here. So that pulley needs to come off before that pairing can be re replaced. Okay, I will now attempt to remove that rear bearing first. I'm going to use this pin and push the shaft out of the bearing. So here we go, there's the rotor and um, there's the bearing. Next I will heat up the, the pulley to about 200 degrees, it takes about a few minutes. And we we'll do the same thing that we did with the rear bearing. We're going to use that pin, goes through the pulley and then we're going to apply a bit of pressure to push the shaft out of that pulley. And here we go. Now here we have the motor with all its individual components. We've got the windings here, the casing, pulley, front bearing, rotor, rear bearing, and there's a casing um, that contains the uh, G sensor here with its uh, connector here. And um, not to forget this little spring ring that needs to go behind the rear bearing. So I will press the bearings um, onto the rotor shaft uh, in reverse order of uh, taking them off. So uh, I will use a, um, a socket that will fit exactly on this inner ring so we don't damage the bearing. Okay, the setup looks pretty good now. Next I'm going to apply some stud lock onto the shaft where the pulley goes. And I'm going to heat up the pulley to about 180 to 200 degrees. And press it onto the shaft. This um, requires a bit of force as the uh, pulley cools down and the shaft warms up. That's a bit more difficult to press it on. So um, that's it. Um, probably the best we can do is this here. Now this the um, the rear bearing that needs to go on this. And that's our um, freshly reconditioned um, rotor now. So next I'm going to remove any metal bits that might be sticking to the um, permanent magnet on the rotor and insert the rotor into the casing. Just make sure that spring ring is in there. So the stator with the windings has a, um, a little connector. Just make sure that that connector lines up with the connector of the casing. So when installing the front of the casing, I have to make sure these three tabs here, they all need to line up with the tabs of, on the rear of the casing. Okay, now I just have to bolt the casing together with the four screws.
and there it is, like a new motor.